Yes. Well, apparently, I just found out this morning, un, that unknowingly, I'm sharing the, a similar message that Sandy shared uh, last week. So apparently, it's a message that we are supposed to hear. We need the reminder. Yeah. Yes. Um, as many of you know, Susan and I um, have an advertising and marketing business. We do business cards to brochures, online advertising. And we're in the midst of a couple of really big deadlines. <clears throat> it's a little stressful around the house from time to time. <laughs> and I got an email on Monday. I got an email Monday morning, which was 24 hours before the deadline was up for um, corrections to be submitted for this big project. And there was a whole list of corrections. <laughs> and I just about lost it. This is something we've been asking people about for weeks, months, we've been asking them. And I just about lost it. And I walked outside, and I'm stomping around. And man, I feel like I'm just going to explode, like I'm going <laughs> to bust at the seams. And so I went back inside, and I thought, OK, I'm going to write that email right now. And I realized that one of my teachers, beautiful teachers, says to me, it's the wise and prudent man who takes three deep breaths before touching the send button. <laughs> so I took a couple deep breaths, looked at my other emails, and here was an email from Bettina. And I don't remember what it said. But in my mind, I remember <coughs> it said something like, Dear one, would you please do a favor for me? And I thought, sure, I'll do a favor, whatever the favor is. And she asked me to give the the spiritual thought today. And I, then I said, yes, I'll do it. And I kind of discarded it because I thought, you know, I'm not feeling passionate now. I'm feeling pissed off. I'm angry about this thing. I'm ready to just lose control. And I realized that, that at that moment that that anger is a consciousness that lives within me. The fear that we have is a consciousness that lives within us. The love that we have is a consciousness that lives within us, the joy we have. And it's our emotions that give tone to those consciousness. We can cross somebody in the street and say, I love you, man. Or we can say, oh my god, I'm so I'm head over heels for her. She's amazing. I just lose my head over her. So there's degrees, there's tone to those consciousness that our emotions give us. And I started thinking about it, and I thought, why is it that so many times when we express feelings about emotions, they have to do with losing control, not being in control. In fact, we say, I'm falling in love. Hmm. We don't say, I'm creating love. We don't say, I'm manifesting love. And we're all practitioners, <clears throat> varying levels of science of mind and new thought. <clears throat> and new, t new thought tells us, the opposite of that, that we are in control of our emotions, that we do create the love and the joy and the anger and the frustration and the irritation. Those are all things that we create, that we invite into our lives. And so as I thought more and more about this, I remembered um, reading some time back that if I'm angry, I need to embrace that anger. I need to become that anger. I need to become that part of me that is anger or joy or irritation or frustration, I need to become a part of that. <clears throat> I need to embrace that energy and realize that that's energy that I can direct, that I can create the different things in my life using that energy. And so I remind myself on a regular basis to use that energy to my highest good and to the highest good of everyone around and to use that energy, whether it feels like it's a negative energy or a positive energy, but to use that energy to get a closer, stronger connection to spirit. Thank you. Beautiful.